Rockcliffe kicks the centre half forward. And Brisbane need to take one of their chances. That was brilliant systematic play. They've cut their way through, and Green just has to go. And he does. For us to compete against these sides, we've done it for a half. On the weekend, we, we did it for three quarters. Um, the third quarter let us down. They kicked 7 5, and they had 20 inside 50. So our backs were under pressure. Um, we couldn't get the ball, so we couldn't place them under running pressure even. They had their backs up, so they were all on offence, no defence. So that made it very difficult for us to actually get the ball back. Um, but if we can continue and do it over four quarters, we'll give ourselves a chance at the end of the game, which is really important for our young group to understand that she's uh, 120 minutes, not just uh, 60 minutes of the game. And that's where we try and, as a training group this week, um, set our focuses for quarters to make sure we, we set our goals realistically and, and stick to those goals for the whole 120 minutes of the game. Look, it'll be difficult this week, but we're up up for it. Um, we've regrouped um, already. We're into our review. We're starting to set our goals for Adelaide. They're, they're playing some good footy, but obviously if we can go into the game and do what we did against Carlton in the first half with that intensity and maintain it for the four quarters, we'll give ourselves a chance. We must get 50 inside 50s. We must restrict them to 50 inside 50s. Um, if the ledger's like that, we believe we can kick a win and score and uh, restrict their forwards. Look, Adelaide's got an abundance of elite running midfielders. The, probably the guy that really puts the cream on the cake is Dangerfield with his explosion from the uh, congestion. Um, he can run and carry. Um, he kicks goals from the midfield. So he's probably one guy we'll have to target on the weekend to make sure his offensive weapons don't come into play on Saturday night.